Hello again, friends. Welcome to another edition of Beaver Town Outdoors. I'm John, out here in the beautiful Beaver Town compound. And today, we've got our trail out here in the woods that is seriously overgrown. And I've got a way, I'm go a new tool to take care of that. So today, we're gonna cut our trails back open. So what we've got to combat that is this. This is a FL-165 flail mower uh, by Ironcraft. Um, if you're not familiar with Ironcraft, they are, that's the new name for Titan implements, not to be confused with Titan attachments. Uh, from what I'm told, that was a big port, part of why they, uh, pretty much the only part of why they changed their name because uh, they were getting confused with Titan attachments. Um, you know, Titan implements actually builds implements, uh, where Titan attachments is a reseller of uh, attachments. Uh, other people build them. They build. They get a lot of stuff from China and whatnot. Um, not saying bad, good, or indifferent, uh, but <clears throat> Titan implements builds their builds all their equipment themselves. Um, I mean, they get parts imported and whatnot, but uh, they're an actual builder. So, to cut, so to cut the, uh, you know, cut trails, cut a lot of the overgrown junk that's happening on the compound, you know, you, I really had two choices. Uh, one was a rotary cutter, um, or known as a brush hog. Um, a lot of people use that. Um, you know, those have their... Their advantages and disadvantages, just like this does. Uh, you know, one thing about the rotary cutter is the sheer size of the implement hanging out behind you. Um, you know, hangs a little, way far out back. Uh, you know, it does a good job. It's got two blades that basically, you know, whack down everything. Uh, but the other option being the flail mower. Uh, flail mower to me was kind of, you know, like I once upon a time I had uh, forestry mulchers. In fact, I think I did a video on it. If I didn't, I probably can find that footage and make one. Um, but I had forestry mowers come in and take care of a lot of brush and, and mow that down. And their their machine is a big drum with hammer blades um, that just basically grind up everything it touches. Um, that's pretty much the concept of this now. The nice thing with the flail mower is once you knock down the really bad stuff, you can switch from hammer blades to they call them Y blades. Um, this came with both, which is really, which is really nice. Um, you know, helps with the cost. Uh, but once you do that, you can use you can switch to the Y blades to maintain those areas because then all you're doing is cutting pretty much grass. Where the hammer blades on this, they're designed for, um, you know, cutting brush. They'll, they'll cut grass too. Um, I've tried this out already as you can see there's some grass and debris on here um, it, it will cut grass uh, but you know the white blades are more effective for that where these the, the hammer blades that are on this are more effective for your woodier material and whatnot um, the other nice thing about this is 
you know, it's tucked up nice by the machine. Gives you more maneuverability. Another neat thing with this is the way they hitch. Uh, you know, they have long pins and that you can actually, um, on this one, this isn't the type that they make a type that is, um, um, they call them a funny top where they can swing out on a pivot. This doesn't have this. You've got to set it where you want it. Uh, but even in its normal setting, on this side, it sticks out a little bit farther, about the width of the bucket. So that way you can, you can get up close and trim things, um, you know, and you're not beholden to, to just the width of the tractor. So you can kind of tuck this in there. Um, but like I said, I tested this out already. Does a, does a great job. Um, you know, but you can actually shift this over so, some more if you'd like, uh, you know, simply by where you hook it on the, on the pins. So as far as, um, any disadvantage I have so far, this is a big one for me. So down here, I, if you remember, I have Pat's quick hitches, and I had to take them off because they're too thick on the bottom to actually hook onto these pins. I'm going to try to figure out a solution to that. I don't know if I'm going to grind the Pat's hitches or whatnot, but I had to go back to just the standard um, connections. And we got a visit coming from our new buddy. There's Rocket. Say hello, Rocket. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so. But yeah, so that's, uh, that was Rocket. That's our new puppy. He's adorable. Um, they're, they're getting ready to go outfit him with, uh, fashionable accessories, I guess. I don't know. Poor dog. Anyway, so yeah, so back to the, back to the hitching. You know, that for now, I've got to basically be set on using the, uh, the rotary cutter, or I'm sorry, the flail mower. You know, I've got to, add, you know, have the hitches off for now. But like I said, I'm going to try to see if I can find a solution. I think if I, I think there's enough meat on those that if I grind them, um, <laughs> it won't affect them where they're going to break, but it'll be enough that I can still use them and hook onto here. So, because I don't like taking those off, those are very convenient, but they're, to use, um, but it's not like a they're not like a normal quick hitch where you can just unpin it, take it off, um, and uh, I really don't want to go back to the old style quick hitch if I don't have to. So, so that's that. Um, but this is nice. It uh, came with PTO shaft. It came with everything, so it uh, it was ready to go. Um, the one thing you got to you got to do with these is adjust them. Um, you know, there's some adjustments to be made. One is the uh, the roller here. The height of this, this back roller, help keeps the helps keep the blades off the ground. Uh, and then there's a skid here too for to try to push the mower up. If uh, you know, if you run into a, you're coming up on a hill that you're gonna, you know, keep you you don't want to hit the blade, have the blades hit the dirt. So you know, you adjust that. That's kind of a backup to. If you hit you know, you get to a, a rut or something like that, or an area that's going to, you know, a mound, it'll put it should push the mower up and get it away from having the blades hit the ground. With the hammers, it's not, from what I'm told, is not that big of a deal uh, as long as you don't hit a huge boulder with them that breaks them. Um, but let me see if I can stick under here. I show you when I talked about hammers. I don't know if you can see under there. But this right now currently has the hammer blades on it. And they're uh, they're not super sharp. But they're not super sharp. They're not meant to be. Um, they're meant to they're meant to beat down things. Um, you know, they're they're not uh, they're meant to more whack and rip and tear things. Uh, which is what they need to do, but they're, they're rugged. They're not going to, just because they hit the dirt doesn't mean they're going to um, be dull on you. Versus the Y blades. Y blades are more like heavy duty lawnmower blades, just little miniature ones. And I'll show you some of those before this is over. Uh, you know, but they're, uh, they're like I said again, they're, they're, they're meant for grass cutting. Because you can actually, from other videos I've seen, you can actually finish mow with these. And uh, they do a pretty good job. So... Uh, 
the other things about this, let's see, the number of blades. So this 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 particular model is 68 inch cutting width or 60. I know it's 165, so I was thinking 60. Maybe it's 65 cutting width. The overall machine is 68 inches. That might that might sound about right because you got the little bit overhanging where the belt drive is. Um, you know, it has the, in the hammer configuration. You have 24 hammers. Uh, they go all across that drum. Uh, the Y blades are actually in a pair. Um, you know, so each, so it doubles the amount of blades. You're at 20 or uh, 48 blades uh, if you if you're in the blade configuration. Um, but like I said, this is set up with the hammers, and uh, yeah. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, and I'm gonna get the camera set up on the tractor so you can come along, and we're gonna go we're gonna go give it a shot cutting the trail, see how it does. So stay tuned.
right, so we got a pass done. Um, it's been a long time since I've been back here, so I'm going to have to come out here and do some work on some of these, uh, some of these trees really took off. But now at least we got a path we can get down. Uh, you know, you've seen how overgrown it was, and there was a couple hairy spots in there. Um, yeah, and a tree that blew down across the path, had to move that, but did good. Bring a rake through and break this or something. But yeah, so we got all the way down the round, but this area has grown quite a bit in the last two years or year or so. But yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, it's grown a bit in the last year or so. And I'm gonna have to come out here with a saw and some other stuff to can't mow everything. But at least we got uh we're drivable again to where I can drive back here and then I'll I'll probably get the four wheeler going and bring it back here with a chainsaw and start trimming up some of these trees get it to where we can use this again so but everything's still in one piece the bridge hasn't washed out I was a little worried about that because I couldn't see you know couldn't see because it's overgrown but there's not much water in the creek right now it is on this side but uh let me see there you go funny with all the rain you'd think that I wouldn't believe that this creek would be that dry but it is so my thoughts on this um, I think this is a great tool I think uh, I think it was money well spent um, you know just so everybody knows I I didn't get this given to me this was uh, this was purchased by me so uh, but you know it's a great uh, great tool I think I, I think I made the right choice compared to the uh, the brush hog uh, or rotary cutter uh, you know I got some, I think I'm going to do some fine tune on the adjustment. Uh, you know, that's, I guess that would be my only complaint is that it's, it, it's a little bit of a chore to adjust the height on it. Uh, adjust the height on that roller. But I think I'm going to need to, uh, just because I think I'm a little close on the ground uh, in certain spots, especially doing some of that really rough stuff. I think I'd rather be higher, a little bit higher. Uh, don't want to, don't want to break any of those hammers off or, you know, do any other damage and it was tractor was handling it fine it was bogging it down a little bit you know there's a couple of times i was getting to i had to stop and let it wind back up and chew up what was in it and part of that's because it rained this morning just like every other weekend it seems like this year so it was a little wet and things were you know binding up but not binding but uh yeah, i was filling it up and it needed to need to stop and let it wind back up so but it did great it did great so I think it's a winner. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Feel free to share. And until next time, everybody take care of each other, be good, stay safe, and I'm out.